Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create faces in clouds. I provided this photo of clouds that you can download so you can follow along. Its link is in my video's description or project files. In addition, I provided this powder cloud brush that we could use to finesse our image. Open a photo you'd like to use for this project. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock. The first step is to separate our subject from its background. If you're using CC 2020 or later, unlock the layer and open the Properties panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and Properties. Click Remove Background. Photoshop makes a layer mask of the subject, which masks out the background. In CC 2018 or 2019, open the Quick Selection tool and click Select Subject. If it misses some areas, just drag your cursor over those areas to add them to the selection. To remove areas of the selection, press and hold Alt or Option as you drag your cursor over those areas. Click the Layer Mask icon, which makes a layer mask of the selection next to the subject. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Black and White. Click back on the Adjustment Layer icon and click Invert. We'll convert our visible image into a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively, as well as allow us to replace our subject without having to redo most of the effects. To do this, shift-click the bottom layer to make all the layers active, and click the icon at the upper right corner. Click Convert to Smart Object. We'll place it onto the cloud photo. If your Move tool isn't active, press V to open it. Drag it onto the tab of the Clouds document, and without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down and release. Change its Blend Mode to Screen. If you want to adjust its size in the clouds, open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. Go to any corner and press and hold Alt or Option as you drag it out or in. To reposition it, just drag it. Then press Enter or Return. If there are areas of your subject that you'd like to mask out or minimize, make the Clouds layer active and click the New Layer icon to make a new layer above it. Check your foreground and background colors. If they aren't black and white respectively, press D on your keyboard. We want white to be our foreground color, so press X to invert them. Open your Brush Tool and Brush Picker. Scroll to the bottom and open the Clouds brush I provided. Notice the brush is 3500 pixels in size. We'll reduce it in a moment. At the top, reduce its opacity to 50%. To reduce the brush's size, make sure the Caps Lock key is off. Press the left bracket key on your keyboard until it's at a size you like. Then, click over the areas of your subject to add clouds over it. If you want to hide areas of the clouds next to your subject, make a new layer and Control or Command click the thumbnail of the subject to select its shape. Alt or Option click the layer mask icon to make an inverted layer mask next to the empty layer. The layer mask will mask out the blue sky next to the face that will be brushing over the clouds. Make the empty layer active and press I on your keyboard to open the eyedropper tool. Click a blue spot of the sky to pick up its color. Press B to open back your brush tool and click areas of the face where you'd like to hide the clouds. Make your subject active and go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it 4 pixels, then click OK or press Enter or Return. Go back to Filter, Blur, and Motion Blur. The angle is 0 degrees, and the distance is 30 pixels. Next, 
will blend the face into the clouds. Double-click an empty area of your subject's layer to open the Layer Style window. We'll use Blend If. This filter uses the luminosity of pixels to blend the layers. In older versions, the current layer is named this layer. This represents the active layer in our Layers panel, which in our case is the face. The underlying layer represents all the layers below the active layer, which in our case is the sky. When we move the sliders of the current layer, it'll clip off the shadows of the face or the highlights of the face. Conversely, when we move the sliders of the underlying layer, it'll punch the shadows or the highlights of the sky through the face. We can blend it smoothly by placing our cursor in the middle of the triangular slider and pressing Alt or Option. When you click it, this splits the slider in half. Dragging the inside half of the white underlying layer to the center blends the highlights of the photo through the face. We'll make a copy of the layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Reduce its opacity to 50%. Hide the motion blur of the copy and double-click Gaussian Blur to open it in the Layer Style window. If you see this message, it's just letting us know that the blur will be temporarily turned off until we're finished modifying that layer. Just click OK. Blur it 30 pixels. Press D to revert your foreground and background colors back to its default colors of black and white respectively. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Distort folder and click Diffuse Glow. Make the graininess 0, the Glow Amount 14, and the Clear Amount 10. If you want to soften the edges of the face, make the Layer Mask active, and drag the Feather Radius to the right. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.